I am Stephen Ben-Danoon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. We have very serious, I, I repeat, very serious breaking news. Uh, today, my Israeli phone doesn't ring very often, but it rang today. And a very uh, dear friend of mine, he is also, uh, he's, he's a Jewish, he was a first responder uh, in the 9-11 attacks. His name is Phil Kirshner. He's also uh, one of the hosts on the uh, blog talk radio show, Pasek and Ilana talk radio show in the United States. And they had a program that just aired last night. It has also made it already on the Jerusalem uh, online.com website as well. This article that uh, they had a dissident. Uh, allegedly, who is claiming that was on their show, he was a call-in. Uh, Phil has met him before. He does not. He will not disclose his name. He was a former uh, scientist from the Iranian regime, and he claims that Iran has already three atomic nuclear warheads. Bernardo had it, and they keep saying we don't have it, but they had it. And then it, uh, it came to the point that North Korea did the first uh, atomic t test. And so it will come a time uh, so within this year uh, that they will have enough. Just are going to test it on the Iranian desert. Uh, you know, one, uh, uh, one of those 15 kiloton uh, uh, atom bomb bombs that they have. And just to show that, you see, uh, we went. But uh, it is very unfortunate that Mr. Obama uh, doesn't participate in Paris' exactly. uni unity movement. Uh, according to Phil, as we spoke privately on my Israeli phone today, he said to me, he said, the only thing they lack at this point is the capability to... Uh, to to actually launch the bomb to Israel. They don't have quite the capability to get the, the warhead down to Israel, but he also stated that they, are, that they would be working possibly with Hamas and ISIS in the region in order to deploy these nuclear bombs. Uh, as I listened to the podcast on this, the, the, the incoming caller stated on there that they would be testing later this year in the Iranian desert. This year, uh, the nuclear bomb they already have, as well as the bomb had already been tested, which Phil had, had also concurred this with me, that it had been tested over in North Korea, that the North Koreans and the Iranians have been working together on this nuclear, or as he calls it, an atomic bomb, three atomic bombs. Uh, I want to play you a clip of the interview uh, right from uh, the very podcast from uh, the, uh, this, the name of this particular podcast on Blog Talk Radio is called Newsmax, Mark Lang Langenfund's first hour in the Israel Project with Leslie Ann was in the second part of the program. It's uh, Pesach with Lana, uh, Lana Show. And... Uh, and you can take, we'll actually have a link to their particular broadcast in the information box here on YouTube. You'll be able to click on that and go directly to the podcast there. If you want to hear in the interview, it's, a, it's about approximately uh, one hour and 49 minutes into the interview that this caller comes in. Again, it is very serious news to know that Iran has three atomic weapons. Allegedly, it is alleged we have no way to concur or to prove this information as of yet. He very much blames the Obama administration for failing to do something about it to stop this. And he says, quote unquote, the Iranian people will not forgive him for what he's doing. So it lets us know that the Iranian regime is definitely not in sync with the Iranian people. That is those people that do want peace in Iran. I'm Stephen Bentonu with Israeli News Live. Shalom. Shalom.